Hello, middle school. Usually when the Drug Free Coalition wants to speak to you guys, we send somebody like our state's attorney. Uh, you'll remember the most, I'm sure. Ray was on. He was funny. Wow. Uh, County Commission, the nice. sheriff, and the school a drug person. Uh, they came there. Uh, we brought the basketball player. I think you've seen our programs uh, before. Uh, but th today I'm here because I wanted to talk about something that you all know about because you participated in it. And that is the Youth Behavior Risk Survey. Every two years, it's given to every 6th, 8th, 10th, and 12th grader all over the country. This is 2018, which is old, but I guess when you do it everywhere, it takes a long time. And um, this is the high school summary, which is available to your parents if they'd like to see it. Just QACGP at gmail.com. Send you a copy. Uh, here's yours. It is just as long, but the format is a little different. And again, that one's available. QACDFC at gmail.com. Send you a copy. Uh, also, you can look online. There's a uh, the whole 80 pages is there as well. And we just have four things we wanted to talk with you about today. First is marijuana, and you can see up at the top, 2354, that's the number of high school kids in 2018, and that's the number of middle school kids, because remember, that's one less grade, and we don't count the fifth graders at um, Southersville. These percentages are all those that said, not interested. Ever tried marijuana before age 11? Ever tried marijuana for middle school? This is for high school, age 13 and under. See that percentage? Nope, not interested. Ever use marijuana? Look how high your percentage is. Look what happens in high school. Currently use marijuana in the last 30 days? Look what happens in high school. Look how high you are. So, we're happy. Uh, compared to the state of Maryland, the decision that you make about marijuana, for example, is made when you're a little older. So the transition from a high school is about the time. Um, the trouble, of course, with marijuana is, and you know, I'm sure you've heard it before, adolescent brain development, yours does not develop until your early 20s. And if you use marijuana before then, the studies indicate there may be uh, an attention or academic issue, and it may lead to addiction. Uh, addiction, of course, an easy way to remember that is you must get your drug of choice without regard to any cost. Pretty sobering thing. The word, by the way, that you hear a lot is medical marijuana, and medical marijuana, medical marijuana, that's a that's a marketing, a business term. That's not a medical term because none of it's FDA approved. Uh, and in Maryland, if you have, for example, the most commonly used thing is undiagnosed pain, you can get a card. I'm sure you couldn't get one from your local doctor, but there are doctors where you can get a card and then go to a retail store and buy marijuana and you can use it that way. That's medical marijuana. And the big... Uh, owners of marijuana, which are, of course are the big tobacco companies and big alcohol companies, they very much want that legalized in Maryland. You'll, in Maryland and you'll see that come up in the coming months. Uh, marijuana. Uh, vaping. Uh, that's the thing right now um, because your generation has been terrific about saying, we're not smoking too many chemicals. Not doing it. And see how high it is? Ever, this has ever even tried it once. See that percentage? See, currently used, 92% said, I don't think so. Ever used one daily? 1% said they did. 99% said, nope. Here's the problem. This is, a, if you like flavoring, for some reason, they're all flavored. Could be because kids like flavors other than tobacco. Look at that percentage. Look at that. See, when you transition into high school, 
that's what happens. I mean, you're going to be exposed to those who do and would like you to. So many chemicals in that stuff. You know, COVID-19 is a lung disease and you're introducing that stuff into your perfect lungs. Um, so that decision will be coming up uh, and your peers and others will be encouraging. Um, this is really the last one. And I wanted to notice you to notice 78% and 79. This has been, they rode with a driver who had been drinking. Notice that's, that's the same percentage as in high school. So that's a problem. And the problem, of course, is um, you, you're not old enough to make a really thought out decision. And can you imagine getting hurt? Just imagine what that would be like for your parents or your friends. Um, but you see it happening. I know you do. Had the first drink. Notice your age. Nope. Look at that big 92%. Now age, this is under age 13. That's still really good. Ever drank alcohol? Look at your percentage. Look here. The last 30 days, if you drank alcohol, 72%. You know, so many kids binge drink. Binge drink is four drinks for a girl, five for a boy. Notice 76% of you already think you don't want to do that. You could hurt yourself. You could hurt others. That's really good that you're thinking that way. Riding with others is still spooky. Um, and you just have to rely on your parents and follow their advice or an adult that you know that you can trust um, because those are the stats. And in addition to all the new responsibilities you get when you get older, um, you get a lot of freedoms, but you also get some responsibilities. And the decision about substances is, is a huge one. Last card. Look at the percentage of you who are offered illegal drugs in school property in middle school through eighth grade. See how low it is? 3%. Look what happens in high school. Almost a quarter of the kids say someone has offered them illegal drugs in school property. So, you know, it's going to happen. So you got to come up with a plan so you can fight drinking and driving marijuana vaping use some people have fake ids it's a heck of a penalty if you have that i just can't think of it if you were hurt think of your family uh, you just gotta rely again on your parents sometimes saying no thanks i'm not interested isn't enough i've heard kids say hey i don't need that i'm an athlete or no thanks i'm going to college I've heard others say, get lost. I don't know. You have to have a plan that's going to work for you. Again, if your parents would like a copy of any of this, qacdfc at gmail.com. Be glad to send it to you. Um, and let me end with this.